Hey, thanks for coming back to the chopping block. What we're going to look at today is 44 Magnum SIG 240 grain V Crown. Now, the V Crown has had some kind of mixed results in the past. Uh, in one of my 10 millimeter tests, it did pretty well. Um, 10 millimeter is one of those cartridges that's kind of hard to screw up, even with poor bullet design, the velocity can kind of make up for it. But in some of the other cartridges, the V Crown hasn't done that great. A little bit of give and take there, so I'm not quite sure what to expect for this one. We're going to shoot it out of my four and a quarter inch Smith & Wesson Model 69 Combat Magnum. Let's take a look. One, three, one, one. Right there between the blocks. Look at that. Looks like it turned around too. Yeah, it's beautiful. There are a ton of fragments in here. I don't know how well you can see it on the video, but there's one here, 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 just all over in there. There is no neck. And of course, block 16 inches long so the penetration is roughly 16 inches so you can see essentially no neck what amounts to I'd say probably about six and a half by four inch wide tears in the gelatin generally representative of the TSC those fragments. A little scale for reference. Bullet. All right. Well, it looks like it came through. Did outstanding. Perfect weight retention. Excellent expansion. It expanded early, fast, big, lots of TSC. And of course, the penetration was right in line with what you would like to see from a 240 grain moving along at a decent 44 mag velocity. Even if V-Crown hasn't done perfectly in other calibers, it did great here. Uh, no, I did not shoot it with heavy clothing, but Generally speaking, 44 Magnum is more of a hunting slash woods defense load than a city personal defense, so I thought it was more appropriate to do it with a bear gel. Maybe in the future we'll do some denim tests. Generally speaking, when things are moving along that fast, the denim doesn't prevent expansion, but it does increase penetration slightly. For now, if you have any questions or if you think I got something wrong, make sure you leave a comment below. I appreciate all of your support. The comments, likes, subscribe, all of that stuff makes a big difference for ch small channels like mine. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great day. Oh, you got
thanks again for watching. If you haven't seen already, I've been doing some testing for TFB TV's YouTube channel also. Now I won't be abandoning my own channel, but I will be adding content over there from time to time, including a much more detailed test of this ammunition.